Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number one on object oriented ABAP. In this entire playlist, I am going to explain how we are going to implement the object oriented concepts, methodologies in our ABAP language. So if you take uh, any language, they already adapted with object oriented example, if you take C, C++, C++ in Java, we have object oriented. So ABAP, we have object oriented ABAP. So why they they are switching to ABAP means object oriented concept concept. It's very uh, uh, simple and it's very easy to handle any large or complex program and the reusability is more compared to a traditional language. So if you take C or ABAP, those are traditional language. So compared to that, so they'll just come with O ABAP. But uh, if you take the area which we worked is mostly with the service based company. So we are working for the customer giving the uh, our deliverables like a report or function module or interfaces like that. So we didn't get a much chance of exploring the actual usage of object oriented in our daily uh, day to day life or day to day development. Uh, if you are in a part of a product design, so you're going to design a very big project or you're going to design a product, then definitely this is going to be very useful. That's why if you take any standard SAP program is mostly with an object oriented concept only because that is a product. So they developed a product with uh, object oriented uh, methodology or concepts. But as a regular developer, uh, most of the people like normal repos, you know, we are not able to feel the actual usage of uh, uh, OOPS concept or object oriented concept. But we try to implement or we start with very simple uh, understanding of what is object oriented and methodology of it concepts and try to uh, include or try to add it in our daily development. And we just come to know, okay, these are the concept whenever it's required, whenever you come to uh, develop a big project or a, a, a complex uh, design. So you can very easily implement the object oriented methodology in the ABAP language. So OOPS is a methodology or a concepts. Okay. And uh, inside we are going to write the same ABAP kind of code only same select, same loop, read, everything is same, but I simply call it as the wrapper over the above we are going to use the concept called object oriented okay so we are going to understand how the design that object oriented design is going to be implemented in above so it's very simple um, i can say if you sit three weeks continuously you are well and good in oops concepts okay just three weeks continuously is enough to understand what is OOPS concept how to manage it and how to overcome it so i try to um, keep more videos in a very frequent manner for OOPS and try to uh, close it as soon as possible. So it will be very useful for you. But I am fully packed with uh, different projects. So getting uh, time to do that. Uh, let me try my best. So let's get into the slide first. And uh, just in one line uh, of object oriented. So it's, a it's just kind of a methodology which facilitate a system to be modeled as a set of objects. Okay, so you know about object oriented name itself is an object. So it's going to be a uh, real time, you're going to map everything as an object, the real time object. So it'll be easy to understand is not only the function and logic, whatever we are uh, used or using in our traditional language. And there's going to be objects mapped with any real time object. So that is the main idea of this OOPS concept. And this approach is, as I mentioned, is going to be a very large or complex and frequently updating or maintain is required for any product or any system. So they, they, they just go with object oriented. That's why every language you have this object oriented concept, even in ABAP2. And most of the language has already adapted this concept, object oriented methodology. So you have a language, you are well and good with the language. So we are going to add the object oriented concept in your language. Okay, so probably 80% we are going to use ABAP and 20% we are going to use object oriented concept clear for entire development. So don't worry about it. This is also like OData. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you uh, saw my OData uh, videos It's kind of a OData. OData is a medium just transfer the information from back onto UI the same way. So we are going to ap apply kind of a methodology. So we are not going to uh, learn any new 
things the same like above like smart forms nothing you're going to learn a methodology and how to apply to a abab simple so first thing is class and object if you take object object oriented this is a very first uh, terms you used to know about class and object so everything is related with class and objects only okay so the that can be a classified into local class and global class local class nothing but whatever you develop in ac38 we call it as local class and whatever you develop in ac24 is called global class same like a difference between how you create a structure in ac38 and ac11 ac11 is a global from wherever you want you can access the structure the same way ac24 is a global you can access wherever you want okay and uh, inside a class we have very very uh, minimal uh, options or uh, uh, i can say objects we have kind of attribute we have is nothing but a variable we are able to create a method we are able to create events we are able to create a interface so only a few options are available and uh, we are going to create under the class and then objects is nothing but to access the class property so class you can you can consider that as a container or a folder so inside a folder you can have its own attribute you can have its own methods own events interfaces and everything so i want to access the properties of the class these are properties of the class i need to access it so for to access the property of a class you need a object property can be attribute or a method whatever it is okay so you need a object you have to create the object for the particular class once the object is ready you are able to access the particular uh, property of the class okay and more than one object also can be created for class that's not only one depends on the business scenario you can create more than one object as well and uh, these are the areas not only this these are which it just came to my mind while preparing this so these are things we are going to see about the properties of object oriented uh, what is static instance what is the visibility options encapsulation inheritance casting interfaces abstract events friend class and exceptions singleton class Uh, we have more actually. I didn't list it out over here, but uh, I'm trying to cover most of the object-oriented properties in this playlist. Okay. So one second. So in the playlist, my idea is I'm going to have a local class first, and then go to global. Okay. So it's always easy to understand if you create anything manually. then 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 you can use a wizard okay so it's very easy to understand it's easy to keep in your mind so i'm going to create a local class in ac38 at the same time um, i'll just go to ac24 whatever i have implemented in 38 local class i'll implement the same in 24 as well because that is the uh, uh, process i designed so here this is my uh, local class so imagine you are in ac38 and i have a class uh, key uh, it's a keyword class name can be anything it's not start with z or y because this is inside the ac38 so you can have your class name start with any alphabet definition is the keyword so class class name definition and n class so class and class is a block so class and n class and then inside the block you can have a visibility section and it's public protected private a uh, very simple understanding is public whatever you declared uh, like i want a variable as a public i want to create a method as a public that can be accessed outside of your class okay and protected and private cannot so if you create a variable as a protected variable or a method as a protected or private method that cannot be accessed outside of the class so that is the main idea of the visibility section so you have to decide um whether your variable or method to be accessed outside of the class or not so you always remember while learning a oops we are you are learning a design purpose okay you are learning the designing how you are going to design a class and methods depends on the requirement it's not normal okay just start writing a function start writing a logic uh, select loop and everything before that before that you have to design it okay then you can start writing on those and then declarations like it can be a attribute or a method attribute is something but a variable and it can be a static an instance we'll see everything little later in detail and then you can uh, declare a events or interface whatever if you want you can declare in the definition part and another one is implementation class implementation this is class definition class implementation so syntax would be class class name implementation and n class inside this you have methods 
okay it's nothing but methods every class implementation has only filled with methods method implementation i can say so method method name n method okay so here you can write normal abap code you can normal get the value do a manipulation and send it over there or update in the table whatever it is okay so this is a design inside you are going to use only our abap code and so these two are uh, syntax for class definition and method and the next part is how to access the properties of the class so for that you have to create an object first so the syntax to create an object is data object name can be anything user defined type ref to and the class name whatever name you are given over here definition part you have to give the same name and the second statement create object and then object name so there are two statements is required to create the object to declare an object variable and then create the object for it okay but once you come with the new syntax so you have either or either you can go with these or you can go with this so data on the flow i'm declaring the object name of the object equal new is a keyword and the class name open and close parentheses okay so this is another way to create the object for a class clear i think you got it i i will do the same in the system so this is my abab editor i'm going to create a local class first so just create an executable program whatever you're doing in the previous same thing there is no separate type of program you have to create normal executable program then start working on it so class and this is my class a definition in the class okay so this is a block so here the first one is visibility area or visibility section whatever it is section so first uh, okay let me go with one by one public section product section private sorry private section so public section is going to be i'm going to create a data means attribute i'm going to create so i'm going to create a attribute called uh, okay class attribute right so it's class a t t r class attribute one it can be anything okay it's an integer character or whatever it is it's these are normal about and i'm going to create a variable under it okay let me give this one um public attribute and this is going to be protected attribute it's easy to understand for you uh, attribute and the private attribute data ri att r type So this is the way you're creating a uh, attributes. Okay. Suppose if you want to create a method. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I need to do method. Methods, method, methods. I'm saying uh, okay. Pub public method. Okay. So no parameters. So let it be because we are in the first session, and uh, protected method. in private method done so class definition is done so i created a class definition and it has three different visibility section and one is public protected and private it depends on your requirement it's not compulsory you have to keep all the three you can have everything in public or you can have few in public few in protected few in private so once i explain the concept of public protected private so it's very easy to understand so when we go with protected or when we go with private so currently the protected and private or work similar similar way we are not able to access it so then what is the difference we'll we'll let you know maybe once we come to the other concept okay so now next i need to implement my class so that is class a implementation in the class 
okay so under implementation i have only one thing method so method here it's method not methods public method so right public method called okay what is happening public method called and this is also a block so i need to go with end method so here you need to implement all the methods otherwise you will get a syntax error if i say control f2 it shows uh, okay let me do all other mistakes okay. implementation missing for method pra method okay so whatever method you have done you have to implement this at least the empty implementation is required let me go with private method and method control f2 so now it's saying protected method okay at least empty implementation is fine okay so let me have In method so I'm not going to have any right statement anyway I'm not able to call this so let me have it okay and the very important concept is let me act over it so the class is defined and implemented so now I'm going to call this particular attributes of the class now I have six attributes three variables and three methods in different uh, visibility section so let me create a variable object variable we call it as so object of um, okay, object of the class object of the class okay type ref to the class name so what is the class name class a okay so control space bar it works for you and create object object of the class okay it's done okay now let me check it so this is very common error once you start working with object oriented statement is not accessible you might get the same error whenever you worked with subroutines so in a subroutine after the subroutine implementation means after form end form if you try to um, put any of the statement normal above statement you will get the same error statement is not accessible because the thumb rule in above is after a processing block you cannot have any above statement so subroutine is a processing block form and end form and class implementation is also a processing block okay so this is a processing block class a implementation and n class is a processing block suppose Processing block is the last. Okay, so you have to keep all the processing block at the end of the program. What I can do is I can the error is only for create object, not for data. The data is fine. This is just a declaration, right? So I, what I'm going to do is let me. I think I'm I, I'm sorry, even not a data. Okay, because it should not have any um, statements over there. So I'm going to keep statements here. Let me check it. It's fine. Because now the processing block is at the end of the program. After the processing block, there is no executable statement. Okay, so you always make sure your processing block is at the end of your program. Suppose some situations you decide no, um, I have some statements to be added after the processing block. That may be a subroutine or class implementation. Then you have to introduce startup selection. Okay, I one second let me clarify myself yes okay uh, declaration doesn't matter you can have after the processing block but there is no executable statement normally declaration is not an executable statement okay now after status selection you can have any executable statement let me check it now it says no syntax error okay I'm able to act toward it 
So always make sure after processing blog, if you want to keep an executable statement, please make use of the startup selection event. Okay. So this is normally it used to come once you start learning uh, object oriented statement act accessible because probably the processing block after processing block you can have an executable statement. So it's activated. So now I'm trying to access different possibility sorry visibility uh, variables. Uh, one is my variable, another one is my what do you call the methods object of the class. Single arrow is the I can say this is syntax, okay. So, or this is a way you have to access the class attribute. Single arrow, we have double arrow, means not double arrow, equal arrow as well. We'll see why or when it is required. And control space bar, then it will show what are the things available. Only two, only public attribute and public method because. Other two are product and private outside of the class. What is the meaning of outside of the class? Outside of the class implementation, you are not able to access those variables which is producted or which is uh, what do you call the private, private. Okay, so you can access the attribute. So okay, I want to send some values. Value. Assign some values, or uh, then I want to display the value. So you can say write object of the class public attribute okay. and if you want to call the method control space for public method it doesn't have parameters so just open close parenthesis is fine and if you try to access anything outside of the class uh, protected or uh, private then you'll get a syntax error what is this? I'm sorry equal to 10 control f2 <clears throat> access to protected attribute po the protected name is not allowed same thing for private object of the class private method so to now private method cannot be accessed okay so this is not possible okay let me execute it you will get some values in rights because i have a right statement in my method so its value is displayed and the public method called okay now if it is protected and private where can i access those variables inside your class so this is the boundary of your class okay uh, very simple you, you you had to very understand like which is inside which is outside class implementation is nothing but inside SC24 transaction is inside, outside of the class, outside of the implementation block or outside of the SC24 is nothing but outside of the class. Okay. So now I'm able to access my private variables over here. For example, uh, what are the things? Okay, private, sorry, uh, private attribute, pro attribute, pri attribute. So now I can say pro attribute equal to 10 private equal to 20 okay so no syntax same thing I can do over here as well it doesn't that doesn't make uh, any difference between the methods whether it's a private method or productive method everything is inside the class right so no not an issue private attribute equal to something. Okay. no syntax error unable to act toward it so hope this is uh, hope easy to understand at least the basic thing so how to define a met, um, class and how to implement it what can be accessed outside of the implementation outside of the class what cannot okay let me do this in se24 as well so here the class name is se24 is in the class builder here the class name should start with y or z Okay, because this is a global object, create that to why ji class is al I already created in the local class, so you don't worry about it. Okay, let me go with uh, naming convention. So normally the naming convention is cl why cl is nothing but class. All standard class start with cl, so we call it a c like this, and we call it as y cl uh, ji. 
so just something like that okay create it then it will ask the description so what kind of class you're going to create uh, even the class you can create in the four classifications but currently I go with only public there is no change over here even I'm not going to uh, uncheck the final let it be because this is the first uh, video just click save local object okay so this is a place where you can play around with your definition part so there's a definition okay so if, if we learned only two things variable and methods so we are going to use only these two tabs now if you want to dis, uh, design or create any attributes any variable for the class de declare here and if you want to create any methods just create it in this tab okay so let me create attribute mm, same like uh, the previous one public attribute what is the level of your attribute instance static or constant I go with instance because we learned only instance in local visibility is going to be public so there are three public protected and private so I'm going to just go with public it's a little slow okay just declare whatever data element whatever you want and protected attribute this is also going to be instance and the visibility is productor and this is character 10 and private attributes instance attributes and then uh, this is going to be private and character 10 then create methods so public method and the level is same like variable instance and here this is going to be public and descriptions just add it protected method this is also the same instance and the visibility is going to be protected then private instance and private okay just double click any method if you want to write the source code there is no parameter for this uh, method so far so click the source code or just double click it will take you to an editor where you can start writing the code whatever you want inside the method so here you can say write and uh, yeah there's nothing difference between local and uh, global only the place is different and act toward it so try to activate all the class together same like function group how we normally do in the first activation so that is the best part so activate and go back so everything is active the class is active and this is a definition part and this is a class implementation okay so here you can call your attributes or here uh, whatever attributes you declared you can be over here it's like public attribute you can assign some values and if you want to access your private attribute okay protected attribute you can do it here because uh, this is within the class right um what a name i given for private i'm not sure let me go back see what is the attribute name so oh pti okay uh, you can do a re rename over here, but uh, it need a confirmation. I say PRI underscore it here. It will ask, do you want to rename or copy? I just want rename. I don't want to copy this. Okay. Now go to methods tab. And go to, oops, sorry. I want to go to public method. Save it. Now PRI control space bar. Yeah, it's coming over here. Equal to 20. Something like that done activate your method i'm not going to add anything in the private and product same way just play around with this now i'm going to call this class in my web editor okay so let me call it here so object of global class 
okay uh, let me do the new one uh, uh, new syntax so i'm going to here on the flow data object for global class equal new and the class name what is the class name this is a class name this class doesn't have any um, parameter so far so just empty bracket is in it now i'm going to call a method um, here you can call the method with the help of a pattern uh, for the global class normally local you are not able to use pattern but you are able to use a control space bar for the local class suppose this is a local class right if you say control space bar it will show you okay if say say select method it will come even along with the parameter that is the one good part after it's just uh, control space the tool uh, tick comes okay and um, if not we have to write it actually import export parameters and everything but if it is a global then you can use pattern and go to abap objects pattern and uh, we i created the object name what is the object name object global class obj global class and uh, my class name oops so y class gi over here and method i have uh, three methods private protected or uh, public i am going to use public and continue so it doesn't have any parameter so it just simply call method uh, syntax would be call method and method uh, name uh, single arrow and then sorry class uh, object name single arrow and method name so this call method is optional because that what i we did for local or you can go ahead with call method as well okay so anything is fine so now is there any right statement let's see uh, global class go to the public method double click yeah there is a right method uh, right statement just act over it and try to execute it so this is my output from local and this is my output from global class okay so this is very basic like how to create a class and how to create attribute of a class method of a class and uh, how to create a object two different ways to create a object what is processing black block why startup selection is required okay so how to access the properties of the class using objects so we have seen very uh, simple uh, start of objects and classes i uh, hope this might be useful for you just play around more in se24 because if you want to um, learn some existing standard class so most of the class are done in se24 than ac38 uh, very basic or available i can say 50 percentage of the complexity they used local so if it is more complex they want to use very um, interfaces and everything so ac24 is like nothing but a wizard so here you have to type everything in local but uh, that is going to be a wizard so it will be very easy for the people so play around in both the uh, places then only you can understand the methodology or concepts of uh, each uh, uh, methods or each topic okay so work it out on ac38 and ac24 If you have any doubt, please let me know. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for your time.